Welcome to the sixth lesson of Power Query and in this we are going to learn one more interesting practical that is how do you separate from non-digit to digit like you have a word over here JOR2468 how do you separate it but we will not be doing only this but let's say if you have a three characters or sometime you have four characters then how do you separate it power query gives you a solution for that so here is your data and over here in this if you will see I have a G column passport number and my requirement is to separate it over here in separating there is one challenge so if you are good in Excel and if you already know this option how do you separate you will say Ramzan we can use text to column and we will take a fixed digit but what about this here you have three characters in the start but here you have five characters in the start how do you separate that in Excel it's really not easy it's very challenging you search on a Google you have to see big big formulas you have to understand it and then only you can separate non digit to digit however in power query is just on a click of a button let's see so the first step will be I will go on this table why I'm going on this table because I have already a query on it otherwise I had to go to the data and click on from table as you know now you will be just coming on this first query table 1 and you will click on edit when I click on the edit option it will open a power query over here and in this power query I will go to the right side where I have a passport number let me zoom it little bit more what is the shortcut for zooming Control shift plus so I have pressed Control shift plus and it has zoom and now I wanted to change this so I will select the passport number and I will go to the transform and in transform we should search an option that is from non digit to digit separation and that is your splitting means so I click on split and over here you get by delimiter by number of character by position lower to upper upper to lower lots of options are there which you can try however my concern is over here by non digit to digit because in starting I have a non digit digit means numbers and non digit means like A B C D so I click on this and uh, it has separated Wow so here is my non digit and here is my digit so if you will observe very carefully here there were three digits he has separated and here is the five this is important otherwise if it would have been only three digit it would have been done in Excel in very easily by using text to column and select the fixed width but for this type of challenging scenario power query is the option let me show you one more time over here the opposite example and when I go a little bit more ahead I have another column with the name new passport number again I click on it see whatever action I did he is creating a steps over here so first I did the merge then I did the fill step so all the steps he is creating for me yes if you want to delete you can just delete it and again it will become like undo how do we do in the Excel so over here I have a digit and then I have a non digit so you will use the same option you will click on it you will go to the transform you will go to the split and over here you get an option by digit to non digit just click on it and your work is done and here you go now after you have done what is the next step naturally you have to exit from the power query editor how do you exit from power query editor you go to the file tab and you click on close and load and you will be back to your Excel sheet in the same query means in the same table one why not 
I go and see. Wow. So this was J and K. And should I go on the right hand side? And over here I have separate digit to non-digit. And let me make it zoom a little bit small. And here you go. So this way friends, you can clean the data. So we combine first name and last name. We cleaned up first character capital. Then we filled the blank rows. And now we have separated non-digit to digits and digits to non-digits. More interesting practical we will see as soon as our lesson progresses. Thank you so much. Make sure you open this file, practice and then go for the next video. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.